what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i am back with another video and today's video is gonna be another bump date so if you are interested in hearing about my baby bump and little girl isaac just keep on watching so one of the first things i want to talk about is my glucose test so i remember uh talking about my glucose test in my last bump date but i didn't tell you guys what the results was so i did get the results back from my glucose test and it came back pretty great actually better than i thought it would so my glucose test rating was a 79 so the goal is especially i guess for a pregnant person i don't really know this is my first time even taking a test like this but my doctor said that they needed me to be 130 or lower the lowest away from 130 is better being that i was a 79 that's really good i was kind of surprised because i had like three bowls of cereal <laughs> uh right before my test and then after posting my glucose test video a lot of people were like oh you're not supposed to eat at the 12 and this and that it can really just raise your glucose level your sugar levels up but you know i i didn't really have any problems after i drank the drink i didn't eat or drink anything else until afterwards so the way that my doctor's office set it up is that when I took the glucose test, it told me to arrive to the doctor's office 30 minutes after drinking the drink. And then you'll basically sit there for another 30 minutes, which end up being an hour overall. And then that's when they do your blood testing. I'm understanding it's way different how most people doctor's office do it. But I thank God because nobody got time to be sitting in these doctor's office for hours and hours. Like they already be late when you're on time, but that was my results. So I do not have to take the three hour glucose test and I'm very happy about that. Oh, one of the things I did forget to tell you guys is that uh, once I did get the glucose test result, um, she did let me know that I need to start taking iron pills. That's not surprising because I've always been low on iron and especially since that they took me off of taking prenatal pills because I was having the constipation issues on top of other issues. But since they're letting me take iron pills, I'm wondering if I can start taking prenatals again. The next thing I have noticed this week is that the dark spots that I mentioned on my legs, which is really just from like skin rubbing and me laying down all the time your skin tends to get dark in those areas where you always compress like if you are a person that wears tight jeans a lot you may notice like just from the chafing in those areas that those areas are getting really dark so for whatever reason my skin decided to make me look like I, I'm a Dalmatian or something like that. But like my whole like one side of my leg is dark, the inner one side thigh is dark, and then I got one dark butt cheek, but then I got uh Tony the Tiger stripes on this side. Like I'm just not here for the shenanigans. Like <laughs> I don't appreciate it. No one told me that this could happen, but I think that's more of like a, a bed rest issue versus like a pregnancy issue, but it's my issue and this is what's happening. So those dark areas are getting a little bit darker, maybe because we're not being intimate, those areas don't see the time of day, but maybe I just need to use some cocoa butter. I don't know what it is, but that's not cute i know it's gonna go away but right now i just don't like seeing it the next thing i have noticed this week is that my wedding ring surprisingly is getting super loose on my hands so i know that i talk about me gaining weight these last couple of updates and this and that but i didn't expect for my wedding ring to become an issue meaning that it slips off like all the time like if you look sorry if my hands actually i really did try to lotion this time so don't come for my life i don't know let me try to focus oh i don't like focusing on my hand because they look so old if you see my wedding ring is really loose and that includes my band like it takes nothing for me to take off my ring and to put it back on like why it's 
especially when it comes to like washing dishes or washing my hands after using the bathroom, I am so worried about losing my ring. So if my ring dirty, I can't find the ring cleaner. But um, how do you lose weight in your hand? I have been mostly going without wearing my ring, like because nobody got time. I'm I'm over the honeymoon stage. I don't have to wear my ring all the time. We've been together almost eight years, like. He knows he's married. It does feel weird not having a ring on, especially having it on for so long. But I'm thinking about getting like one of those little fake wedding looking rings and putting those on my finger that actually fits more because I mean, I'm not gonna lose this ring and he ain't gonna give me another one, child. Y'all see how he be about spending his coin and he was like, oh, I'm just like, you know, you lose that ring, you ain't getting another one no time soon. And I was like, bet all right <laughs> but he playing himself because if i lose this ring he darn sure he wanna uh must want to be single because i need a ring on this finger uh-uh you better be lying so he he talking about his best child so if you guys don't see my wedding ring on in any of these videos just know why i'm not paying lose thousands of dollars just to show that i'm married so i actually just put this back on just for the video to let y'all know that but uh, I'm not finna be losing my wedding ring for nobody. Not even him. So one of the next things that happened this week is that I noticed that putting on shoes and socks is officially a problem. Like it always kind of was a problem, especially when I was at my worst in the pain situation when it came to me being in bed rest and the cervical issues is at its worst. You know, I understood that more then. But now that things get better, I'm like, now I notice that like lifting my leg isn't 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 that easy. Like if that's not a, a problem, I don't know what it is. Like I don't think I should be asking my husband to tie my shoe all the time. And I'm not even I don't know. I'm not gonna say I'm not that big because I'm I'm starting to become a bubble. Like putting on lotion is a problem too. Like I already don't like putting on lotion too much. And that's why I probably got skin issues anyway. But I just like the feeling of a fresh shower and dry skin. I don't know, that's just me, my problems, but I don't know. Another thing I have noticed this week, which is surprising, I don't know why I just got excited about that out of nowhere, but uh, sneezing hurts. <laughs> is that a normal pregnancy thing? Or, cause when I sneeze, my stomach hurts. And I don't know if it's just from the tightness. I don't know if it's because of the cervical issues, but uh, sneezing hurt. And I've been sneezing a lot this week. I know some women who are pregnant, especially when they're going towards their third trimesters, they generally have like runny noses and stuff like that. So they tend to sneeze a lot more. But when I sneeze, I swear I feel it all in my stomach and that junk does not feel good at all. The next thing I kind of wanted to give an uh, update on is my dry patch <laughs> in the middle of my boobs. That is actually getting pretty better. I don't know why because I haven't really been oiling it better. I don't know if it's that my chest is starting to settle a little bit more and it's not as hard because you know when your boobs grow your boobs tend to be like hard in areas and very stiff and kind of painful maybe the dry patch got used to the stretch i don't know but it doesn't look like a skid mark as much as it did earlier in this week i don't know when i posted the video but i knew it was recent i did start using the um yardley bar soap i i believe that's what it's called it's like oaks like natural oak and uh, coconut oil type of soap bar thing, which smells amazing. So I've been bouncing from that and the lavender one. And I think they're like natural. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I started using that this week. So I'm wondering if that has a lot to do with it. The next thing that has happened this week is that I did go see fetal medicine. And one thing I do remember that happened is that I did get the fetal fiber test. I think it's called fetal fiber nectin. It's a test that I get to see if I'm gonna go into labor like usually within the next couple of weeks or not. And that did come back negative as well. So it's exciting. And she did let me know that I will probably be getting that done every time I go in. Just to make sure because the baby is getting bigger. 
that uh, they can be able to catch labor in advance. Oh, also my um, cervix was a 1.1, so it did drop a little bit but uh, I'm still not dilated. But also one thing they did notice is that it looks like I may have like a lot of discharge and sometimes my panties are a little soaked and I'm just kind of like, is it the progesterone? But I don't know, the last two, two, two nights before I went to fetal medicine, I noticed it felt like I was like just dripping out. So she said she did notice that but it wasn't nothing that she was concerned about. Fluid still look good, and especially because that test came back negative, she's not really concerned about it, but she just said that she will let my doctor know. Uh, baby still look good. Baby look like she's grown a lot. <laughs> She looks about two pounds, to be honest, and she looks really cramped. I wish I could record, I really wish, cause half the time she be scaring me half to death because when she, every time I get ultrasounds now, I feel like she looking dead at the probe. <laughs> like, you back, you're irritating me again, like, and now the last two times that I actually been there, I haven't been able to get a good sonogram picture. That sucks, so I can't really show you that. I guess she don't want me to have no pictures. Oh my God, speaking of which, I need to plan maternity photos. <sighs> the things I gotta look forward to. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be pretty much all for my signs and symptoms, but just to be sure that I'm not missing anything, I'm gonna go ahead and look back at my board. I feel like I haven't used this board in forever. Maybe because it has been forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and run down what this is. So as we know, this is the week 25 bump date. And as far as cravings, I'm gonna hold it like this. Hopefully y'all guys can see. Uh, my cravings this week has been cereal. I love cereal. I loved cereal before I was pregnant, but cereal is one of my guilty pleasures. My type has changed, I think, since I've been pregnant though, as far as what type of cereal I like. I have been liking um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Lucky Charms, I love Mini Wheats, I can eat Raisin Bran, but cereal in general is just life, and I have to drink uh, lactate because I'm an old person that just has to drink lactate. <laughs> The next thing I've been craving highly, highly, highly is ice chips. To me, Wawa has some of the best ice, which is the little small pebble ones that they even may have in the hospital. I love ice right now. And it's not the best for your teeth, but I don't really care right about now. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night just to like get something to drink just so I can have the ice to crunch on. Like, it's, it's getting bad. Also, another thing I've been craving, this is a guilty pleasure, and I need to quickly cut this one off, and that is the frappes. I like, personally, McDonald's frappes the best. I be using the um, McDonald's app because they be having like deals and stuff like that. I feel like the mobile app of McDonald's is so underrated because it can be cheap, child. But I always get a caramel frappe with extra caramel and an uh, espresso shot. And it's like, Carissa, you don't need that caffeine. My doctor said it's okay, so screw you. <laughs> I'm just playing, I love y'all, but you know. Um, but I quickly need to stop this one because this one will make me put on the weight that I don't want. But I can't help it. Oh, and another thing is too, what's bad about it is that they got the uh, buy one, get one for a penny on the uh, McDonald's app, so that's all I be getting. I be getting two, half the time I don't drink the second one, but that makes me crave it even more because it's just such a good deal. And the last things I have been craving is hot wings. I've been wanting hot wings forever, maybe in the last couple weeks, but this week I was like, bruh, I need these hot wings. So I actually got some today, ate some, that's probably why I feel like I'm waking up and getting a little bit hyper almost. I am in my second trimester, but close to my third child. Baby Isaac is the size of a papaya. And the highlights of the week is the no labor that I specified earlier. So that's great. Baby Isaac is still baking. Uh, can see a lot more squirming. Like I said last week, she is very active. But now I notice that she starts to recognize voices, especially when David speaks. 
I feel like she becomes more active. And the last thing I did, this is not really according to baby Isaac, but this is something that I did notice and I did want to talk about, is that my channel has officially hit 1700 subscribers actually I am over 1700 subscribers I am probably like 1730 and that is so amazing like I really do appreciate it because it do mean a lot when people are sending me messages and saying like my story helps them and my situation is so relatable or that I'm just relatable as a person that does mean a lot because in real life child I ain't really nobody I didn't expect to grow so quickly I just wanted to take out a moment to say thank you and I really appreciate the support that kind of went off on a tangent but I did forget one more thing child and it says mommy is feeling like a blimp because I feel like a blimp child <laughs> I am a walrus <laughs> Child, I hope y'all won't be taking me serious. Child, I'll just be talking. But let's just see what the app that I follow, which is the Pregnancy Plus, said that's going on with baby Isaac. It says that baby Isaac should be about 13 inches. I wanna see what 13 inches look like. <sighs> look at her! My whole forearm basically would be her length. But most babies are around 19 inches around birth. Babies are really that long? Like this length? Jesus. Fun fact, my niece was around 26 inches when she was born. <laughs> She's tall, child. It says your baby primitive memory is beginning to develop, implying that music and voices will be leaving an impression in your little one's brain. Your baby's spine has 1,000 ligaments, 150 joints, and 33 vertebrae. I don't even know how many I got. It says, now that your baby has fully developed hands, loud noises may even prompt Junior to cover the tiny ears to shield from the noise. So I think that's gonna be all for as far as symptoms and like physical issues that has been going on with me. But some things I have started actually doing to prepare for baby this week, I thought I should throw it into the weekly bump dates because I don't think you get to know as much on a fast level of what's going on. Like people been asking me questions. Are you preparing for the nursery? You know, are you having the baby shower and this and that. And this week I have actually started working on my baby shower invitations. So yes, we are having a baby shower. It's going to be in January, most likely the beginning of January. I'm shooting for January 5th. I probably, depending on how that goes and you know, if you guys send me stuff, I may sh do a video on the things that I got. It just depends on how much. I don't really have like an expectation on things I will receive, whether it's from my baby shower or from my P.O. box or whatnot. Just depending on how things are looking is if I will decide to do like a like a baby shower haul video I'm thinking about starting another getting another registry because I already do have the Amazon registry that I keep in my description box but I'm thinking about doing a target and uh I've been had a bye bye baby one but I noticed that when bye bye baby did some updates to the website the website been very glitchy that I haven't even been able to get a hold of my own registry or add things to it so I don't know if I'm gonna be doing bye bye baby but for sure I already have the Amazon one and I think I'm gonna go ahead and start a target one these are the things I'm kind of working on the registries and the baby shower and just trying to prepare for that decorations wise trying to figure out what it is that I want what theme all that stuff it just I'm doing all that as a whole this week also we did if you see my video earlier we have officially registered for the hospital that is kind of exciting but kind of disappointing at the same time because if you don't know I originally wanted to have a natural kind of birth situation outside of the hospital because you can't go natural in the hospital but because of my circumstances this week I also have started working on a birth plan I figured that if I create a birth plan then I can just still have some sense of power in the way that I want my 
labor and delivery to work. So now let's get on to measuring this belly. I'm very curious to wonder if I'm actually 40 inches or not. So this is the shape of the belly. As y'all guys can see, I have upgraded to a new measuring tape. I've been had this one, but uh, I just found it right on time, child. Look at God. This is her from the side. This is her from the front. Is my belly button still there? It's almost gone. Last week, I believe I was 39 and a half inches. So let's see what this is saying. Okay, what does this say? Oh Lord. Does that say 40? Am I blind? Oh Lord. Y'all see that? I have reached a new, new level in life. That is 40. Yep, I am 40. I gained a half an inch in a week. How many more inches I supposed to get? It is what it is. I'm happy she growing, so that's all that matters. All right, so I guess it's gonna be all for this week's bump date. I have given y'all all the information I have to give, basically, and I guess that's just gonna be really it. So until next time, if you haven't already, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.